All right. We're going to tackle a 2012 Toyota Venza 3.5 V6 spark plugs. Oh, yeah. The famous ones in the back. That's a little hard to get to. So we're going to start with very simple. I'm going to snap this cover off. That was simple. All right, the front ones, everybody knows how to do the front ones, but I just want to show you something. If you look at the little front ones over here, you got a little tiny clip over here. Okay, if you notice, if you squeeze the clip, the clip does not move too much. I took this already. You see it? It doesn't really flex too much because it's plastic. It'll snap on nice. Okay, but look, you can't, when you squeeze it up, it doesn't want to snap up without breaking. Did I mention breaking? Oh yeah. Here's one right here. The little plastic clip broke off. Somewhere around here. Where is it? Right here. There it is. You pushed on it and it did not want to snap up. So you use a little trusty little screwdriver and you just lift it up just a tap. That's what I did on these. That worked fine. This one snapped right off so now this thing is loose uh, i'm gonna have to deal with uh, toyota and see if they sell this separately or you have to buy the whole harness if not and you have to buy the whole harness uh, you can forget about that we'll just have to find a way to tie this down a little bit out of the way so it won't pop out but it's it is a tight fit but spot plugs very simple you know 10 millimeter this comes off, the coil comes off, change the spot plug that's in there, check the coil, look for any uh, signs of burnt marks, oil, anything that's seeping in there, replace the spot plug, screw back in, coil plug in, no problem. Look at this spot plug that came out of this one, got 96,000 miles on it, really not too bad, you can see the uh, electrode. Up on top there's a little mushroomed out. Other than that, it's not that bad. The replacement one's gonna be NGKs for me. All right, the original ones that came out are uh, Denzos. So I guess Denzo is the original uh, brand. And the local stores only sell NGKs, unless you wanna order them. But that's not what we're here to talk about. I'm gonna button this back together. What we're gonna talk about is the ones in the back. So stay tuned. Well, we disconnect everything to take this plenum off. So clearly right now it's going to be the airbox, the plenum, the plug in the back. And I believe there's two screws in the back that's going to be really hard to get to. The piece of e-hose. So this whole black piece, this plenum has to come up and out of the way. Once it comes out of the way, it's going to be the exact same setup like this, but facing the other way. And you see this engine harness that's running this way? It's going to be running the other way and covering this part. So you're going to have to go up and over to get to this. Okay, just imagine this flip the other way. So this coil harness is going to be in your way and you're going to have to work around it. So that's what we're going to do. So hang on. All right, so this is what we got to so far. Started to take the air cleaner assembly off. Okay. Three clips over here, one, two, three. There is a plug over here with a clip. That clip comes out really easy. Then you got uh, vacuum hoses, All right? Just connect the vacuum hoses. This piece you just push in and then come out because it's got the little uh, clip over there, see that? Just push it in and then this whole piece comes out. Yeah, change the air filter while you're there. You don't want to see this one. All right, next one is this box over here. Oh, I forgot, to, you gotta take this clamp off. All right, there's two clamps, inside and outside. This one over here, squeeze the clamp, wiggle it out, you gonna have to stick a little screwdriver in and just wiggle it out. There's a little uh, clamp over here that releases this one. And this here will come out. Voila. Okay, just push everything out of the way. This is the, uh, the wire. Okay, tie things out of the way. Have a good memory. Otherwise, you're going to remember 
you're not going to remember where everything goes. Next one is the throttle plate. Okay, we're just going to take the four bolts off the throttle plate because there's no sense disconnecting the, uh, the lines and then the plug. So basically just the 10 millimeter, four bolts, this just comes out, out of the way. Don't forget when you're doing the spark plug change, you have to buy a new throttle plate gasket. Okay, and buy new plenum gaskets. They're pretty cheap. Deal with a good brand. I dealt with Felpro. All right, it's also a good time to clean your throttle plate before you put it back together. You see all the little gasoline uh, marks, oil marks there from the PCV and all that stuff. All right, that's a PCV hose. Squeeze that clamp. It comes right out. So now we're down to this part over here, which is the actual plenum part. All right, hang in there. All right, I'm gonna tell you where I am right now. That bolt on that side with the 10 millimeter came off no problem. You can access it right through the side once you take all this. Air box and everything is actually right in the back. It's fairly simple. A long 10 millimeter quarter inch drive, ratchet and socket works out just fine. This side, you gotta do it blindly because you can't really see where the bolt is. So, what I did was I disconnected this harness right here. Squeeze a little tab and this pops right out. But in order to get your arm back there to make this turn, this piece here, it's not sharp, but it cut me up pretty good. So I took the 10 millimeter bolt out of there, wiggled it out, and took this little hazard up out of the way. Much more room for you to move. Now, you can't feel anything back there, you can't see anything back there, have no clue what the freaking bolt is. But I do feel a 12 millimeter bolt sticking out that way, just like the 10 millimeter. So there's my quarter inch ratchet with a 12 millimeter socket, long socket. I have it on the bolt there, and I'm having a hard time cracking it open. Because there's no room back there. Quarter inch ratchet, of course, is very small, and I'm not left handed, so. I got too many things going against me. So what I did was I got the ratchet on there. I loosened it up already, but I want to show you how I loosened it up. What I took, did was I took my long screwdriver and I anchored it right on this little piece here. Gotta be careful. I'm not gonna tell you to break it. And I put it right there next to the ratchet. Held the ratchet with my left hand and I went like this just to break the bolt. And it worked out fine. You broke it ratchet it again and broke it now it's really loose so now I'm to the point where I'm going to take that bolt off and see if this part will come off all right hold on all right so that was a 12 millimeter bolt that came out here's the sucker but it's still kind of binding so you look a little further and right behind this throttle plate there's a little tiny bracket and there's also a 12 millimeter bolt. It's actually right around here in this general area. Okay, there's a little bracket, holds it to the engine. Kind of makes sense. We thought that it was just a 10 millimeter bolt back there. All right, that was a 10 millimeter bolt that held this uh, brake hose back there. So I thought that was the one that was holding the intake, but apparently there's more to it holding this intake. All right, so this seems to be a little loose. I'm gonna lift it up right now. It looks pretty loose. I'm gonna put you down because I can only do this with one hand. Hold on. Yeah, that was it, people. That's it. 12 millimeter, 12 millimeter. I'm gonna look at that 10 millimeter, and I'll let you know if it if it had to be changed. But yes, here it is. Out. Here it comes. I'm gonna leave that little brake hose attached to it. I'm gonna swing it over here. Out of the way. And look what we see here, people. I see there's a bracket here. See, it? it's blocking that coil. So this bracket's gonna have to come off. That's one, that's two, and then with three is right over there. And that 10, that 12 millimeter I was talking to you about that was holding the manifold, here it is here. Okay, so I guess that 10 millimeter bracket didn't matter because it was just holding that bracket, the one I showed you before to hold the hose. So you probably didn't have to take it off. I take it off anyway because otherwise it would have binded on that brake hose. And here's the other 12 millimeter bolt. See how it's on a bad angle? See how it's you got to grab it from down here 
Okay, so just imagine, you gotta twist your arm around like the way this harness is and go underneath and take that silly bolt off right there. That's what holds the back. All right, so basically, looks like another 12 millimeter bracket bolt back there. This bracket will come off. Uh, the plugs, be careful, don't break the pins. You know, that little lock clip there, I'm gonna try to squeeze it and uh, try to be very, very careful. I don't need to break the ones in the back. Same thing as the front, coils come out with a 10 millimeter bolt, change the spark plugs, check for any wear and tear and burn marks on the coils, and put it back, right? I'm not gonna drag you out to how I'm gonna do the back, but if you need any little room, I can see this can come out of the way, this harness can come out of the way a little bit, this can probably come out of the way for a little bit, and you give a little room there, okay? But uh, yeah, once the plenum is out, that seems to be the hardest problem. Make sure you clean everything over here before you put it back. Replace the gaskets. I'm going to show you the gaskets that I bought. These are the gaskets. Felpro makes them nice. They've always been around for years. Probably one of the best gaskets uh, you can get. All right. Might as well get the best because you only want to do this job once. So clean the surface up. Don't let any dirt go in there. You can stuff rags in there. Before you do that, just in case something does go in there, a tool falls in there, then you're in, you're in big trouble. Okay, I'm not gonna curse here. But definitely clean that throttle plate before you put it back. Everything goes back in reverse. Okay, and don't forget the, the bracket that cuts up your arm. Don't forget all your vacuum hoses. If you start it up and the car runs a little funny before you go thinking that uh, you did a bad job with your spot plugs, go back to all your vacuum hoses, all right? Every little thing. Recheck, double check, mark it, write down on a piece of paper if you don't know it. Put a little masking tape and mark it, all right? It's not bad. It's been about uh, two and a half hours right now, and I just took it apart, okay? But the front... Uh, spot plugs are done already, so the two and a half includes the front uh, spot plugs. All right, again, this is a long video. Enjoy, people. Adios.